My name is Mamoru Takuda, a delivery agent handing door-to-door -door deliveries like food stuff, everyday items, and the like. Hello, it's Tekio. Here's your package. Good day. Really appreciate the deliveries like always. Did I place them by the porch? Yes, please. Oh, so here are the frozen foods. Okay. A year has passed since I became a delivery personnel dispatched to this area. My final delivery for the mornings for Asagi, a regular who seems to order things on a weekly basis. And so I met her face to face on most weeks. Did you recently see the nearby park and its autumn leaves? Quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, really? I've been cooped up inside my house all week, so that's all news to me. My job's all related to voiceovers, and since we're allowed to work from home, I felt that there's no real need to go out. And thanks to you, Takeo, bringing the food stuff, you saved me the trouble of going out for groceries. Oh, is that so? Are you a voice actor? Well, it's not that I do any animes or anything, but I work on videos streamed over the internet. Like, I do a little bit of narration. Now that you mention it, I thought there was a commercial where the speaker sounded familiar with yours, Asagi. I guess the one featuring a manga app? Oh, wow, well noticed. That commercial was the first one I had the pleasure of working on. I'm glad I got that one. Well then, I'll be going ahead. I'll see you again sometime around. Oh, here's my order form for the next week. My bad. I was so immersed in our conversation and was about to miss the point of why I came here. No worries. See you again next week. Man, I gotta keep myself together. Getting my job while being all chummy with her? No good. I look pretty lame there. So, Asagi is doing voiceover jobs, huh? Her voice is really pretty, but I would have never guessed. Okay, I'll be rooting for her for the rest of my life. After some time, her orders suddenly increased. All right. Thank you so much for these orders. Oh, wow, sorry. That was quite heavy. If you need any more, don't hesitate to order. I'd be happy to deliver them. I can't thank you enough. Also, I might add more orders over the following weeks. Certainly. Does she have roommates coming over? Or, oh, probably a boyfriend? During the succeeding weeks, I continued my deliveries, which consisted of five boxes or even more. Probably this new roommate, her boyfriend, has quite an appetite, huh? She's pretty, so it wouldn't be surprised if it turns out she had a boyfriend. I felt disheartened while continuing my deliveries. And then... Hello! Tekio here! Oh, thanks. Thanks for the orders, as always. Should I place them right by the door? Hmm... Seems like she's in bad shape this week, too, huh? Yes, please. Her orders kept increasing each week. I felt she looked even more gloomier than before. Your work's really kind of busy nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, sadly. My schedule's really cramped now, so I try to squeeze in my recording work whenever possible. I'm just barely surviving here. Wow, that must be real tough. Then all that work. Must be the reason her face is pale. That's it for the deliveries. Uh, do you have the order form for next week? Uh, yes. Are you alright? Uh, sorry, I... Are you feeling okay, Asagi? I've noticed you've been getting paler and paler every week, each time I visit. Take you. Please, I need your help. Help? And from whom could it possibly be? Hey, sis, where's the ice cream? You know it should have been here by now. Would you fetch him here, um, like, real quick? Oh, yes, my bad. I'll be there in seconds. Sorry, it'll be just fine. Forget about the order forms for now. I'll be waiting in my truck, so you can first unpack these. Just hand the forms out after putting these in the fridge. And so I waited in my truck. Barely five minutes even passed, and Asuki came running, bringing along her order form. Take you. Here's the order list. Oh, Asagi. Uh, my apologies for making you run for these. Is everything okay? Wouldn't this raise suspicions? All seemed fine. I told her that you forgot the order forms in the truck and will be back for these. She happily ate her ice cream and was all quiet after that. So about her. You're living with your younger sister? So, my sister, along with her husband, said she'd want to freeload here for a while. Until they find a place to settle in. She just barged in without asking me. 
Both she and her husband has been slacking off without any jobs and has been acting like they own the place, even bringing their friends and causing uproars. They'd even eat what's inside the fridge and complain if it's empty. Man, that's absurd. I even renovated my room a bit so I can fit in the recording booth, but the booth's not thoroughly soundproof, and as soon as they get noisy, it's difficult to get any work done. Can't you just kick them out of your house? Both mom and dad says we sisters should be there and watch out for each other. And so I just kept it to myself. My parents isn't also too fond of me. They'd always spoil my sister. It's hard to disobey them. How about friends? Boyfriend? Is there someone you could ask for help? Friends? Boyfriend? I can't possibly get one being this plain. Plus, someone who'd want to be friends with me? Just... no. Aren't you being too hard on yourself? You're unattractive? <laughs> no way! Someone with a voice like yours? Surely everyone will want a friend like that! No, 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 no! Hold on! Asagi's lost her self-esteem because of the poor upbringing in her family. Imagine even being judged by her own parents. These jerks. I'll never forgive them for doing this to my best girl, Asagi! This... voice... Hearing my clients' compliments, yes, it's the only thing I have that's as good as everyone's. I have nothing else other than this. Would you mind me meddling in this matter? I'll be getting off work by 7 p.m. After that, I can pretend to be your boyfriend and pay your house a visit, if that's okay with you. Uh, boyfriend? I'll act like your boyfriend and keep you safe. Is it okay to go ahead with this? You're going... To help me? But her husband's a former gangster. You would never know. He could hurt you real bad. I'd feel guilty if I was to cause you any trouble. Don't worry. I'm a former gangster too, you know? Huh? I do package deliveries too. You could say I'm now in better shape compared to back then when I was active in the gang. Oh, yes. You do look definitely stronger than him. When I come over tonight, make sure to call me Mamaru. My nickname. W uh, will do. As for me, please call me Fumika. For good measure, I relayed this all to my boss after getting back from the shipping warehouse. If it's the company we're talking about, this one's completely out. Ask me, though. I think you're completely in the right here. Just take note that you're handling things afterwards from the company side out of the question. If you're still up to it after hearing these, then go. I wish you luck, kid. I was prepared to quit the company if things went awry. I soon headed over to Asaki's apartment after wrapping up work. Good evening! Oh, Mamoru, welcome back. Sorry for being a little late. Can I come inside? Sure. Hmm? Who's this guy? I'm Fumika's boyfriend. Perhaps you're Fumika's sister? I might have forgot to tell you. Your boyfriend? Never heard of him. I was on an extended business trip and just barely got back yesterday. That being said, is there a reason you're staying with Fumika? As far as I know, Fumika's room was not this chaotic the last time we met. Probably the workings of a really pesky rat taking a cozy shelter, wouldn't you agree? Oh, Fumika really did us a favor, allowing us to lodge here. There's not room at the moment, and you're taking us space. We'd really appreciate it if you could go leave now. How's that for an idea? You really don't want to get hurt, I eh? Get the hell out of here! So, you're her boyfriend? I don't know a thing or two about you, but... Taking off my darling, not a good idea. You see, he's an ex-gangster. An ex-gangster, huh? So like an extraordinary roleplay doing gang things? Oh, so your character, you're being into that phase, being really all shitty and pretend now as an adult. How's that for a guess? The hell is that? Damn it! Ex-gangster means a former gang member. You stupid or what? Oh, I'm an ex-gangster too. I was a former gangster doing all sorts of things, but got a hold of myself. Someone who has repented on all the things he did, not causing people any trouble, and just trying to lead a normal life. That sort of ex-gangster. So, who owns the place? Whose dime you we happily playing with? You'd be really foolish not to pay him back, innit? How's about paying it back? Go on, my ears all open. Yo, come here. Uses either shutting your trap and walking away or coming with me for some fun time. Thank you so much. Well then, I'll be taking my leave. 
Make sure you lock the doors tight, okay? At the same time, I really want to help tidy your room up. I probably shouldn't take too long here. Best I get going. Are you already going back home? Sorry. I came and did something here that was completely out of the company's rulebook. You really saved me back there. I'm glad you went all the way here, Mamoru. I hope you'll visit me again. I was still worried about Asagi, so I visited her house, where I found that the couple had returned. And so, I sent them away again. The day after that, I was still worried and decided to head to her place. There, I found both husband and wife heading towards her house. So I drove them away. All these worries didn't quite end. I am so sorry. I basically ended up coming to your house every day. Same here. I'm worried they might end up coming back here one day, so, Mamoru, really, I'm glad you're here. This feels wrong. It's like I already live here, even though we're not dating. In that case, will you be my boyfriend and share a room with me? Mamoru, meeting a person like you, someone who was kind enough to do things for me, this was a first, and I just fell in love with you. I'm unattractive. Maybe a girlfriend one wouldn't be proud of. But if... If it's these feelings for you, Mamoru, I'm sure I won't lose to anyone. Uh? Oh, uh, is something wrong? You're adorable. I... I like you. Huh? Believe me, you're just too cute. I'd even wager on that. Uh? After that, we're now officially a couple and have taken up residence in Asagi's house. I suggested that she go share a room at my place, but says that she'd want to sort out the backlog from work first. And so we decided to stay here. So those two, it looks like they have been summoned for court. I heard that they moved to their friend's house and we drove them away from here. Still, it seems like that they're still doing that thing. Really? Well, not a surprise if you ask me. Also, my parents called me and said that You, it's your fault your sister's in court You should pay her fees That's the least of your concerns, Asagi Don't hand them a single cent I'll always be here for you, Asagi There is neither a need to keep up an appearance with them Nor answer their call I was thinking of asking you after work has settled down Cause actually, I had my eye on this amazing apartment This place, it's even soundproofed my original plan was for us to settle down at my place, but at this point, moving to a new one might be a better idea. So, you've thought of things far ahead, just for me? Obviously! If it's for the person I would want to marry, I would think things thoroughly. Mamoru, I love you. Six months later, after moving into our new place, Asagi and I secretly got married. Since starting this new chapter together, Asagi begun to be more cheerful than ever, even getting new work commissions. Fumika's voice is my raison d'etre, my best girl Fumika's voice. Today, too, I will be cherishing them. Mamoru is just so gallant in this story. Fumika's sister, mom, and dad were sad skews of a family. They caused Fumika a lot of problems, but it's good that Mamoru came in and defended her. I hope that Fumika can start a family and a warm household anew with Mamoru. How did you guys like today's story? Please let me know in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.